Our goal is to understand how flood inflows are routed through a spillway at a dam and how the lake behind that dam responds to flood inflow and spillway flow. A cross section of a dam holding back water in a lake. Spillway gates on top of the dam are closed and will be open to bypass excess water around the dam. Inflows into the reservoir will grow larger and smaller as the flood scenario evolves. Understanding three basic principles is key to understanding flood operations at a dam. First, when spillway outflow equals flood inflow, the lake surface will stay exactly the same elevation. Second, when spillway outflow is less than flood inflow, the lake surface will be rising. Third, when spillway outflow is greater than flood inflow, the lake surface will be falling. At the beginning of a flood event, the inflow increases. The spillway gates are closed and the surface elevation of the reservoir rises. The spillway gates are opened to bypass the excess flood water at the dam. When the flow out through the spillway is equal to the inflow into the reservoir, the reservoir elevation stops increasing. After the peak inflow, as the inflow into the lake decreases, the flow through the spillway exceeds the inflow. The reservoir elevation decreases since more water is flowing out through the spillway than the amount of water flowing in. After most of the inflow from a flood event has been bypassed at the dam, the spillway gates are gradually closed to store the remaining small inflows behind the dam. Our mission is to manage the spillway gates to bypass flood water safely around dams and to store as much water as possible behind these dams at the end of the flood event.